Hello everyone, welcome back to today's tutorial on this plan. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to configure lookup. What is the purpose of lookup? As we have seen in our earlier lecture, we searched a record based on category ID or product ID. We haven't seen the product name or what is the price of that particular product. So those kind of information where we can have the standard set of data, like the product name has a standard set of data, the country name is the standard set of data. So whenever we have the standard set of data, we can upload such information as a lookup. So whenever we perform the search, we can use the lookup as a one of the criteria to get the additional attributes such as product name, price, or country name, etc. So that is the purpose of lookup configuration. Once we configure the lookup, we can share that across the multiple team so that they don't have to do the same step again and again. So that's another advantage of sharing the lookup information. So what are the steps involved? Basically, there are three steps involved during the lookup configuration. The very first step is we have to upload the lookup data. You can use a file or any other way to upload the data. Then we have to create the lookup definitions and we have to share those lookup de definitions with the teams. And finally, we have to automate this lookup definition. The reason for automation the lookup definition is you don't have to use the lookup command every time when you search the record. The record will be searched automatically when you just perform the search using the Splunk search. So let's go ahead and see how can you get or how can you upload this lookup data. We'll use the comma separated file that is CSV file to upload the data. You can create your own file or you can download from the website. I will share that link of file download in the video below. You can download the file from this location. We need this prizes.csv file. It will download as a zip file. So unzip it and you will see the prizes.csv file. What this csv file contains? This csv file contains these five columns. Product ID, product name, price, sales price and code. So make note of these names because we need to use these names during the lookup configuration. So we got this data in the file. Let's go ahead and upload this data. I'm logging to the Splunk application by using username and password. Once you log in, it will take us to the home screen. Here we have to go to the setting. We can see the multiple options available. Go to the option lookups. In this lookup option, we have to provide the name of the lookup and other properties. But before doing that, there are three options available. We can upload a new file or we can update the existing definition or we can automate the existing lookups. So let's go ahead and first add the lookup file. So click on the add new. Here we have to select the destination. We'll use the destination as a search. Let's browse the file. We have the file here selected and click open. Now the prizes.csv file is got selected. Let's give the destination file name. I'll mention name as a prizes lookup and save it. So as soon as you click save, the file got saved. Here we can see the prizes underscore lookup is generated. But this is a private file. We have to share this file with all the applications. So how can we change the permissions? In order to do that, click on the permissions. And 
select the option as all application and provide the what are the permission you would like to provide to them i will give the read and write to everyone and click save now this become a global instead of private now we'll go back to the lookups the very first step is complete that is nothing but the uploading lookup file data the next thing is creating lookup definitions we see the lookup definition is here if it is already lookup definition there we can update it if it is not there then we can add it now to do that click on the add new of course the destination app is search will provide the name here as a prices lookup you can give any name there is no restriction on this we have to select the file type and also we have to select the lookup file so i will mention the type as a file base because we uploaded the csv file and lookup file name is our prices lookup so we provided the properties let's leave this check boxes as is and click save so we just created a definition for lookup but again the lookup definition is private let's make it as a global by selecting this permissions select all apps read as well as write and click save so now this prices definition also become a global so these are the two steps the third step is how to make it automatic in order to make it definition as automatic we have to configure the automatic lookup and the purpose of automatic lookup is we don't have to use a lookup command every time now how, how can we make it in order to do that let's go back to the lookups and there is a option lookup for automation so click the new we'll select the destination app same search we'll provide the name here as a auto auto lookup we'll be going to use the prices then the lookup table the lookup table is prices lookup which we just created then the source type here we have to provide the source type a name we have to just give the name you can give any name if you remember when we search any record it has the different types of fields like source type or the source this is the name get, is getting used in that search criteria so you can provide the name of this source type i'll mention as a access combined working cookies and then look up input fields now suppose you have the country code and based on the country code you would like to get the country name so in that case the country code will be the look up value and that country code should present in your search data as we search the product ids so that means we have the product id data and based on the product id we can get the product name or the product price hence the our lookup will be based on the product id so let's provide the lookup input field is a product id but the name should match here is the product id so i'll just take that and paste it and we have to assign the name here you can give any name so i'll just mention the same name similarly we have to provide the output field what fields we are looking for so based on the lookup input field that is a product id we would like to get the product name so get this product name and provide here and you can assign any name to this i'll mention product name you can add other fields as well like we have the price field i'll just mention price and you can click save 
here we have option override field values you can just ignore it because it, these fields are not present in existing data so save it so this way we created our lookup fields for automation if you see the name the name is populated as access combined cookie lookup auto auto lookup prices Let's make this source as also as a global and for that we'll change the permissions. Let's make it for all applications. Everyone read, everyone write and save it. So these are the basic requirements we have to satisfy before using the lookups. So we saw how to upload a, a lookup file, then we created definition and then we also made the lookup definitions as a automatic in the next lecture we are going to see how to use this lookup definitions for searching purpose